good evening friends uh, we welcome you all to the decan positive mental health uh, this resource person is uh, my lovely friend sweety jain birla she is psychologist and counselor um, organized by manasha shubhakara mind care hyderabad in association with elo pond and forest creative arts uh, a brief intro about uh, sweety jain she is practicing psychologist and uh, counselor based in mumbai founder and director of mind mind mirror paradigm she has been working as a school counselor for over 8 years she is associate member of um, apa and lifetime member of inspa she is also a council member of uh, wicci of labor and employment government of india she conducts webinars and workshops for schools colleges and other corporate organization on various psychological issues she has also been a national television many times speaking on mental health issues she also conducted webinar for national institute of uh, disaster management she also have conducted webinar for miranda house and many other webinar activities yes sweetie please go ahead the floor is yours thank you so much ma'am for such a lovely introduction uh, good evening everyone i can see so many eminent people and uh, learned already experienced people here and so i'm so nervous now so i will try my best to do the justice to my topic today uh, but um, if i am not audible because there is some problem in my laptop if by chance if i'm not audible please do let me know through chat and that is the reason i have uh, logged in from two devices and i would really appreciate the participants here and uh, like to, to be interactive rather than me talking 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 i really love my sessions to be interactive uh, so ma'am would know that so i really appreciate uh, before i start i would like to say that there is nothing right and wrong because in mental health there is nothing right and there is nothing wrong so whatever is your view point whatever is your perception i would really really appreciate or uh, you also share with me and i would really appreciate if the learned people also here share, share this topic today what we are going to talk about so when we are going to talk about and start about today's topic that is boundary right so i would really uh, before i start so i would like to ask in one word from everyone what exactly do you understand by boundary one word write it down in the chat box only one word what exactly is your view point on boundaries and first i would like to ask that question then i will go ahead anyone on the chat box if you want to unmute you can unmute and you can say setting limits great that's good anyone else what exactly do you understand by boundaries being out of no a uh, lot of no lot of no means art of no she said art of no art of no okay art of no okay art of no yes like that means being assertive limitations okay limitations yes ma'am i would say boundaries are healthy boundaries are healthy wow that's good very good clear ending and beginning wow that's a good one clear ending and beginning Mom, you just need to have boundaries. Uh, you just need to have boundaries in your life for you to feel comfortable, because you cannot agree to everything uh, and suffer in the process. So you just need to set boundaries uh, for you to feel very comfortable, and for the other person also to accept uh, your uh, views. Okay, okay. So you are setting the limits. You are setting the boundaries so that you can have that comfortable zone, and you can safeguard your mental health and yourself. as when we talk about the self so you can so safeguard yourself okay do's and don'ts okay do's and don'ts okay so when we talk when you see this picture what comes in your mind here apart from boundaries what exactly it comes how will you define this picture looks like she is meditating is one aspect uh -huh. she is present another aspect okay fine great Anyone else? Space. 
personal space. Great. Anyone else? She seems to be in a bubble. She seems to be in a bubble. So being in a bubble is good or not? Come on, Aru. Uh, if it's a normal bubble which can expire any time, then it's good. Uh, it looks like the others don't have access to her. They're just trying to uh, figure out how to reach out to her. That's how it feels when you look at this picture. Okay. So does, do you think that uh, when we are uh, like, you know, creating a bubble or creating a wall against us, uh, around us, and we are not allowing anyone to enter, is it healthy or unhealthy? It's definitely unhealthy, ma'am, because it is definitely unhealthy because sometimes you need to uh, share your problems with others. At least a counselor, if you think you cannot solve it. And uh, it's always better to have uh, this one. Okay. Secret. Well, good. So what I feel, I would say like share that when we talk about boundaries, right? It's always okay to cross and to make a line that you are not supposed to cross this line. I am allowing you to enter my space, but then there is a limitation of entering the space, which I will not allow you to hamper my self-esteem in any way. So that can how we can define the boundary here, right? So let us move ahead. I'm going to show some questions and I want everyone to participate the way you are participating right now. So when already I have asked that what comes up when you hear the term boundary? My second question would be, what have you learned about setting boundaries? When we are growing up, we are learning in the process, we are getting conditioned in the process. So when what you have learned in school or in colleges or your about parents, your friends, what you have learned in the process of growing up, preserving your integrity, that's nice, good, very good. Anyone else? Apart from preserving your integrity, what else you have learned about setting your boundaries? How can you set your boundaries? What you have learned? I want you to share your personal experiences of learning these boundaries in the process of growing up. For me, else? Sweetie, yes, for me, as I was growing up, I'm an extreme explorer. Very difficult for me not to respect the boundaries of others when I was young and growing. Therefore, we always used to, friends means what? No boundaries. We are all in one bubble. But yeah. as we grow, as I understand, now I know how to respect the personal space of others and don't be others. Even yes. then, sweetie, I am 77. Even then, sometimes I improve. And, but I said, okay, it is me. Mm. It doesn't matter. As long as I am not going to hurt others, make them exactly. feel bad, it is okay. That is how it I look at it. Not that I am saying I am correct or incorrect. That is what I am. Okay, sweetie? Exactly. Exactly. I really agree with you because nowadays being a practicing psychologist and a counselor, I see still children, they have this, they don't respect the other person's boundary. Maybe when we are teaching about boundaries in the life school sessions, they know how to preserve their boundaries, but then not to respect other ones. That mutual respect is also learned when we are teaching or when we are learning about setting boundaries. That is very, very important. Great, sir. Anyone else who wants to say, like what you have yeah. learned? Yes, ma'am, or ma'am. Uh, I think there is a very famous saying, uh, your freedom ends where my nose begins. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a very, uh, I mean, it was very visible and you could easily relate it to physical boundaries. But where it, uh, where it, uh, you know, when mental boundaries are concerned or emotional boundaries are concerned, exactly. I think I have learned very late in my life, like maybe 40 plus. Uh, I was training as a counselor as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, that was quite shocking to me because I think being friendly is all about, you know, allowing anybody and everybody to walk into my life and I could walk into anybody's life and uh, never knew whether I've hurt in this process anyone else or somebody else has hurt me, even that I'm not aware. Uh, but the more uh, 
knowledgeable i became about boundaries i became very conscious i feel somewhere my spontaneity has been taken away <laughs> yes but yes, i think it is essential yes 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 definitely it is essential and you know this is all about how we learn from trial and error this is all about how you learn from your failures how you like suppose they are in the process of learning it might be there that you have heard someone or we have heard someone or we have also got hurt you know the, the, in any kind of relationship when even in by when i talk to my students we say that no relationship does not only mean a husband wife relationship or a boyfriend girlfriend relationship relationship also means a teacher student relationship a parent child relationship a friendship relationship so in any kind of relationship that mutual respect that boundaries when we talk about a space everything need to be taken care but then it's all about how we learn eventually the third question is what are the things in relationship that makes you feel safe so who will write that for me that what are the things you feel that in a relationship it can make a person feel secure and safe that is very very important loving what each other that? loving each other loving being affectionate to okay. each other of course okay. public respecting Fine. each other respecting oh. each other Yeah. respecting each other great I, great i think trust is one other good major factor trust for okay. me okay fine trust anyone else there are so many participants i would really appreciate if everyone can join in for the interactive session so that yeah. we can all enjoy empathy empathy and i th okay. i think empathy empathy is one thing which you can understand the other person okay empathy in relationship great empathy anyone else very good anyone else apart from empathy understanding others of one fast and empathy with them and understand them okay understanding okay uh, respect love each other trust principle centered friendship okay that's a good one loyalty and trust important well okay well wishes and not well pushes okay yeah that was a good one well wishes and not well pushes okay so basically um, this is the other one ma'am acceptance is also the other one see uh, you accept the person in a relationship if you can accept the person's negative qualities and positive qualities i think that will be a good uh, uh, way by uh, you know uh, you know respecting the other person's boundaries also exactly acceptance very very good good point ma'am okay next question would be what are the things in relationship that makes you feel unsafe or that makes one <clears throat> feel unsafe what it can be abuse when your decisions abuse. are not accepted when your decisions are not accepted sometimes when you think that you are right and the other person is not ready to accept that that can mm. uh, you know you can feel bad about that that respect okay. is not there yes the decisions yes. by respect i am not uh, respecting whatever you want to say or think yes great uh, abuse is there anyone else what makes what is that thing which makes a relationship unsafe when you have certain expectations ma'am can i say that uh, yes, when you have yes. certain expectations and the other person is not able to meet those expectations sometimes that can make you very uh, feel uh, very insecure or unsafe yes expectations is a very bad thing actually we should not expect but after we are a human being so it's a innate nature to expect in everything great anyone else yes. when the other person is not listening to your views not listening to your views yes very good because when i am not listening and i am only the one who is dominating and saying and you need to listen to me yes that's one great and one when you are not feeling that you are heard that is true giving unsolicited advice, advice. Unsolicited. unsolicited like and then example. expecting us to follow this okay yes expecting us to follow and when i'm giving advice and you need to follow that great great superb that means some way or the other domination is coming great now do you feel you can say no without feeling guilty how many of you here who are present here can say no without feeling ki ha i would not have said no ha huh? okay great one anyone else can i see the raised hand just give me one second i have can you repeat ma'am just give me one second sir uh i'm not able to see anyone ha huh. 
for me speaking mm-hmm. i can very frankly openly say that i can't do i won't do and i won't feel okay. guilty because that is my decision whether other person mm-hmm. respects accept or that is his choice yes. but where i stand i make my my, my stance very clear yes that's true that's true and that is the reason i say experience just talking that yeah that's true but still when i say no now at this age i feel no i should not have maybe i would have said yes and maybe i would have given in that time so there are the things which i am still learning at this phase of my life anyone else who is there who feels guilty that yes i should not have said no because we have seen i have done a research paper on domestic violence during covid 19 and the mental health of women so in that i would like to share some uh, results which i have found you know women who are being abused domestically after getting abused also they are not the one who initiate fight but still they feel that because of me the fight has started i should have given it i should have saved the relationship i am the one that same self blame is very much higher in women despite of being a victim of domestic violence and that and despite of that feeling also and getting abused also they feel secure in the relationship that was a funny uh, result which i have got so the i feel that yes sometimes still we are conditioned in that way that no you cannot say no is always okay to adjust in any kind of relationship whether whatever it is am i do you agree with me or not yeah yeah exactly exactly right so adjustment we are taught and we are conditioned in okay please adjust this is life right so yes guilt feeling guilt comes sometimes becomes very normal you know now how will your relationship looks like if you practice boundary how will it look like i want you to share with me how will it be when you practice boundaries in your relationship will it look excellent will the other person will your partner will be happy or will your friends will be happy with that will they be comfortable I, it depends upon depends the level of maturity. Understand? Depends upon the person. If really person. good okay. friend, you will say I respect your boundaries. But still, okay. expectations Great. are there. All those things. Thank you, Abhi. Great, great, great. Last question would be: What is one small way you can practice boundaries? I would love for you to share with me, or what suggestion would you also give it to me? That what is the small way you can practice boundaries in your life? lively and lock last day excel ha huh. yes ma'am my ma'am go go ahead yes okay yes 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 go ahead ma'am uh, firstly i think me and my partner or whoever i'm interacting with uh should be at the same um, level of understanding otherwise there is all possibility of misunderstanding mm-hmm. another thing is if i have to practice laying boundaries it's mm-hmm. not just saying yes uh, yes or no but i would make it a point uh, to be uh, gentle uh, non aggressive mm-hmm. and put forth my point of view yes and uh, you know because i would definitely care that take care that my relationship with that person will not get ruptured Mm-hmm. Uh, because that person is important to me that's why i take the pains mm-hmm. uh, to explain myself and despite that if there are misunderstandings um, then it's up to the other person how they would respond and react to my uh, statements or you know my explanations or why i'm saying a yes or why i'm saying a no exactly exactly very the, good the, the key yes, to the, keeping boundaries is negotiation we have negotiated these are this is my personal space this time i want to be with myself this time with my reading or my meditation mm-hmm. and when when we negotiate personal misunderstanding is all just to come exactly 
great 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 super uh, anita ma'am is watching without hurting others take care of your feelings say no and set boundaries this is the way you can maintain the boundaries and communicate effectively without any anger yeah communication is the key and a solution to most of the problems actually so, exactly yeah exactly. i i uh, i just wanted to add a point ma'am i as for i uh, as for my knowledge is concerned boundaries are nothing but filters and it should be adjustable and whatever uh, is mutually beneficiary we have to accept and whatever uh, is harmful or whatever is not required they have to be uh, removed yes. that's what i assume okay great great super perception sir okay uh, be aware of your own boundaries and other boundaries and respect them yes that's very good actually you know we need to be aware of other boundaries as well and we need to filter what is accepted and what is not to be accepted and that need to be kept aside great so setting boundaries when we conclude in this is means to draw a line to safeguard yourself or oneself physically emotionally socially intellectually materialistically and along with the time because time boundaries is also very important i also have that me time so i cannot have my own time only only for you so this is my time i am available for you and remember this boundary when we are talking about is not only of a personal boundary but also should be applicable in a professional life but somehow there are lot of people we have seen that they don't have the professional boundary they might be very good personally but not professionally or vice versa maybe they are very good professionally they know how to maintain boundary but when it comes to personal boundaries no so can anybody tell me uh, what is the reason why people fail to maintain that boundary any any reason what is can be the psychological reason behind it yeah judgmental things ma'am uh, one thing is ju being judgmental with uh, own people or mm -hmm. uh, some professionals when you come to the two categories of uh, personal uh, circles and uh, uh, professional circles you have a judgmental thing in your uh, brain and you have boundaries adjustable according to that automatically okay. so that is where the difference happens Okay. and that is where uh, you have to uh, properly fine tune it to the extent where in uh, you get benefited out of it great anyone else very good that was a good one anyone else uh, lack of having a no no lack of clarity in life no lack uh, of clarity like for example sir and no also uh, please unmute yourself uh, what all the rights Like, you know, as per the land, law of the land, as per the uh, common sense, what are the uh, rights of myself? Like, you know, if I know that one, then I will be able to say, okay, this is acceptable, this is not acceptable, and with confidence we will be able to tell. Exactly. Not looking like you know, uh, the ignorance is when uh, people land up in. Uh, not able to set up a boundary. Exactly. Even one point I feel very majorly can be insecurity. when i am not secured about my relationship when i am not secured in my professional life or when i am not secured about my personal life so when i am having a lot of insecurities when i am having a lot of self doubt i am having the fear of losing things like losing people so that also comes in our mind at the back of the thing okay fine we should not maintain boundary or else i am going to lose this person so just to cling on because we are from monkey thing you know we have that monkey nature so we want to hang on and cling on to a branch right so we want this to have for the sake of clinging on into any kind of relationship or any kind of commitment we are not creating boundaries or we fail to create the boundary right now what does boundary sounds like that means how does it look like exactly so we can just say that okay fine i uh, we can be very assertive in nature whatever we want to say or whatever we want to communicate or convey should be very clear that this is what i feel and this is what i expect from you if i expect that yes please tone down your voice and talk to me very in a polite way then i expect that otherwise i am not going to entertain right so i will end this phone if you continue to shout at me even this is applicable in hey, any kind of yes sir this is also applicable in any kind of abusive relationship or in any kind of relationship 
right when i am seeing that in any kind of relationship the one party is getting used and used and used and the other person is getting benefited out of it so then it's the best time to cut down that particular relationship and sometimes it's better to go out and come out of that particular relationship when you are seeing that you are continuously your self esteem is getting hampered right yes it is very easy to say it's not easy to do but then your self is very very important your safeguarding yourself is very very important that need to be taken care of very well now what does boundaries at work look like that means when i will say no to unrealistic expectations when i am having the time bound that after i am i am back from my office that is only my personal space and my family and home i am not going to entertain any office work i am not going to entertain any other work or calls that need to be taken care very well that time management when you are doing when you are following and the punctuality the discipline in your life you will automatically see that you have already created a boundary which is really helping you to build your self esteem is helping you to build your own self your integrity and overall personality right that time you will also feel that your self doubt will also decrease that is very very important to work on and definitely when these things are worked on your mental health is going to improve uh we are going to skip the quiz part right now now this is the circle you know when we talk about this is my inner circle and this is my outer circle inner circle means a circle of very close friends right and outer circle means okay fine hi hello and how are you so this circle which is being colored is like purple means this is me that means i am also important out of 24 hours 30 minutes of my time is i deserve to have my me time and nobody can take that yes i have commitment at work i have commitment at home but then i need to be committed towards myself as well that is where you are creating your personal boundaries as well blue means your family then comes the friendship then comes your office colleagues and acquaintances then comes you when you are helping in the community when you are doing a social work and then comes the strangers now we are going to do one activity i want everyone to participate and i request every participants to please please participate in this uh, i would really appreciate if you can take a picture of this or if you are aware very good so that we can relate to the activity here done okay so i am going to shoot some question how do you decide who will get into this into your circle how do you decide that which circle you will allow people to get into whether you are allowing the person to get into your green your yellow your orange your red your blue or a purple because even there are a lot of friends who becomes a family right they are no more the friends but a family right so how do you decide which circle they get into what is the quality you feel that they get into anyone for me it's trust and mutual respect and of course comfort and affection comfort and affection and the mutual respect okay anyone else what is the role that person has to do in my life like what is his role like what is his uh, contribution in my life contribution in life okay fine good anyone else how do you decide because we all have that circle in life and we try to segregate everyone okay you are my companion you are my like family you are my like friends okay you are just like okay fine be there wherever you are how do you decide that anyone one more i can take it's a wavelength a which you can connect yes wavelength yes definitely that is very very important the way you share the mental wavelength that is very very important okay now based, based on our experiences uh, mutual experiences with each other mutual experiences with each other there have been positive 
yes interactions. positive yeah positive interactions yes very good now tell me one thing okay those who help and support need an encouragement yes very good now when does a person move from one circle to another when is that break up point when a person becomes a from a friend it becomes a family when is that only when the person is helping or something else also yes yes Pardon emotional me? connect the emotional event connect. yeah emotion uh, emotional connect which happens at a event it can be a good event or it can be a sorrowful event wherein you get connected emotionally and that can be connected to a dear one or that can be connected to a, a professional circle or anything can happen okay that's good great anyone else emotional connect and all anyone else that uh, relationship will become sour to me if mm. the person is taking undue advantage of uh, our friendship okay that means any kind of relationship moves in between the circle it may come in the inside the circle or it may go outside the proximity right yeah correct yes great great super next is what are the characteristic of a person who is in your inner circle whoever it is in your inner circle what are the characteristic that is the reason because of this this person is in my inner circle what is the characteristic sir so, a trustable person trustable person okay unconditional caring take care of you uh, when you are in a difficult uh, situation ma'am and someone who can guide you and uh, for you to come out of the difficult situation yes so, that's good hmm. yeah someone unconditional caring unconditional caring okay unconditional caring and ma'am mentality mentality yes. thought process because mentality. birds of a feather flock together yes exactly mentality thought process yes definitely you are correct anyone else okay uh tell me one thing what type of information do you share with the person in the outer circle you know when i uh, work with kids and when i work with adolescents actually they share everything with everyone and then they come to me that yes ma'am you know this person has you know shared everything i tr trusted the person but then and not only the adolescent but in adults also i have seen that they share everything so what type of information do you share with the person in the outer circle and not in the inner circle minded what can be the information For information example, of generic nature generic nature like yes. what is happening in the country or like you know a general like you know what is the outcome of the election just like a discussion of a thing general a bit casual yeah, a bit casual, casual and random mm -hmm. casual okay. and random and uh, general it's not okay. specific Okay. and it's not uh, actually uh, any emotional oriented topic or uh, information which can be shared with the external circles okay okay anyone else there is uh, need for me to share information something related to my profession or anything like that any mm -hmm. kind of information i will share it to the person outside okay fine great but i have one question when the people are answering one thing click in my mind in a professional relationship also there are a lot of people who comes inside the circle and outside the circle so what yes, you exactly. what you feel <coughs> in a professional relationship what type of information we should share suppose i am a team of eight person or i am a team of 10 people right and 10 people have a very good proximity with each other so what can be the information you know like we can share with the person professionally on personal level uh, the relevant information which acts as a catalyst to improve the situation or to improve the progress of that particular thing mm -hmm. so we should we can share personal information when we are in a professional background no ma'am not it, at all no 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 it's not uh, yeah only okay. professionalism only professionalism which will increase the efficiency of your work okay fine because it... you don't know them you don't know them if they leak out your personal stuff you may be in a position you cannot look into anyone's eyes everyone has their own story yes definitely very good but is it always possible that when you're working in a professional life you are not supposed to share the personal information is it always applicable in our lives no not exactly see we we will have to uh this share our personal information as appropriate for example if oh, yes. a subordinate comes to me with some uh, family problem and if oh, i had faced encountered similar problem uh, better to share then only the other person will open up 
but if mm. i remain closed not willing mm. to share any of my thing then mm. my subordinate will not come up with his product so Absolutely. appropriately we will have to share appropriate that yeah. means we it's need to maintain right. a balance right yeah. that is very very and when required yeah yes uh, if one is emotionally drained mm -hmm. and if one is coming for the work mm -hmm. and is emotionally imbalanced mm -hmm. then if a person to feel light shares mm. his or her personal information with some close friend mm. but that also you have to be sure that the person with whom you are sharing is trustable or not exactly. because we cannot we cannot be sure that if a person is speaking sweetly mm -hmm. that person is trustable mm. so what we can do when we are sharing information not as a first person but as a third person we can share the information so that if we really want to help a person emotionally as you have said that if a person is emotionally drained or they need some help so rather than sharing the first person information that i have also suffered this i have also know i have also gone through this rather than doing that we can say that yes i also know this person or friend of mine maybe this and this as we do in counseling session right we don't take the names but then we just share in a third person way so that the person can also vent out the feelings and we can not share or we can save guards uh, save guard, guard ourselves or from sharing the personal information that can be done right <clears throat> i have a slightly different view on this yes sir uh, like if you see auto by the great leaders if you see mm. the politics etc they share the complete thing the person who shares completely in and out he has got the grip on the the entire population if i remain saying in a third person it, i have gone through something but i want to say like a third person uh, yeah i know someone went through like this you will not be able to it, to my understanding we will not be able to carry it but then uh, sir i would back to that to much confidence like you know, yeah. if i am very confident then i should share i would <laughs> like to back to defer here you know what we uh, we say is like when we are sharing uh, like suppose auto autobiography you are telling about right when we have reached a level of self actualization that yes whatever i am sharing even whatever person will say or whatever criticisms i will get on my autobiography or or the information i am sharing i will not be affected by that yeah that's correct right. right because we human beings really very easily get affected by whatever people comment on whether it's on physical whether it's on personal or emotional level or whatever way right but then when we know that yes we are emotionally strong and we accept that whatever criticism might come i am open to that forum then only we can take a risk of sharing but then when i am not ready and i'm not having that self actualization that okay fine or i have achieved everything even whatever what might come i am ready to accept the fact then it will be very harmful emotionally to you i got right? it right yes, yes. so next question is second last question what type of information do you share with the person in the inner circle very easy question not very at all easy <laughs> 80% 20% <laughs> <laughs> there are there are some thoughts some uh, you won't share. processes you just keep it so close to your heart and your mind uh, and even if you would like to broach a certain sensitive issue or between the partners or between friends between children uh, between parents you have to be extremely sensitive how you broach any subject so that you don't harm the relationship exactly exactly so and you know when i got married i was told that by my friends that don't share each and every information with your partner there should be some filter of sharing the information correct but then i have one question then okay Please. uh when we talk about relationship and when you are talking about family and we are talk about the circle also uh ma'am is asking yellow is for friendship or not i would really have to share again the circle so that she can get the thing uh when we talk about this circle you know and that is like a part of me the my partner is a part of me not completely me i would not say completely me but a part of me i would say that's why we say adhangani a life partner and partner in crime so when we talk about that uh when is a part of me why can't i share my everything with the person why i have to have a benefit or doubt okay find the person might take the undue advantage in future why this thought will come because it is a question of survival because in in any relationship you cannot be 100% transparent sometimes you will be surprised we will try to hide something from ourselves also 
Though you know it is correct fact. No, 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 it is not. Because we keep it. Because the whole thing is 100 percent nobody can be transparent. Well, maybe God can be transparent. And always some and for example, some question they ask you, which you don't want to give correct answer, you say, sorry, I can't answer that. Exactly. Tell them, you can't answer that. And exactly. as frankly, you tell them. They may say, why? You say, okay, it is a personal choice. Mm -hmm. But for heaven's sake, my advice to everybody is, do not be, I don't want to use the word mayu, may I be in mayu, to share 100%, you will be in serious trouble. Exactly, exactly. And you never know what is going to happen in future. The future is very uncertain in every way. So last also question. Because ma'am, one more huh. thing. Also, we should not share everything with everyone because uh, like with your spouse also, because you don't know, you may be brought up in a different upbringing. He's maybe brought up in a different upbringing and mm. your mentality may be different. Maybe you are broad minded. Maybe he's narrow minded. His uh, mentality, maybe you may be extrovert. Maybe he may be introvert. Exactly. He, there may be nature clashes, opposite, totally opposite. So exactly. and perception may be different. Exactly. Your perception, way of perceiving things may be different. His way of perceiving things may be different. Both exactly. of you may be right. Exactly. But, but he will, uh, his, because his perception will be different, uh, the clashes may result. Mm. While both of you may be right towards in your sense, your particular direction. Exactly. And as somebody and you, I, I guess you have said that about acceptance, you know, that acceptance level is not there. So maybe I as, as a person, I am seeing that, okay, fine, whatever my person, my viewpoints are. So I want you to accept whatever I am saying and I am not ready to accept in whatever way you are saying. So it also happens and it is very, very natural and very normal in our in our Indian culture. Sorry to say that, but this is a fact that majority has this concept actually. And this is because of a conditioning in which we are like uh, brought up. So last question would be, are you in a people's inner circle and they are not or vice versa, I would rather say. What is it? Like, okay, fine, I am in someone's inner circle, but then I don't have consider them to be in my inner circle, or it can be the ulta, vice versa. Can be. It's like that. Yes. So I want everyone to say yes or no in the chat box so that I can say why, why or n, so that I can understand yes, majority is winning or majority is saying yes or majority is saying no. And watch. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it can happen. It can happen. Definitely. So. There are three types when we talk about maintaining boundaries. One is the rigid one. Rigid one means that, <coughs> sorry, uh, they feel very frustrated, you know, when I, like, you know, I am sharing, when uh, people uh, don't share view things the same way I do, or maybe whatever I am saying and you're not ready and you're not ready to accept my viewpoint, you're not going whatever I want to do. So this is fine, like I will not take it. How dare you go against my wishes and my thoughts. Have a rough time acknowledging, expressing your feelings and really consider, okay, fine. I don't care whether you're feeling bad or not. I don't care about that. What matters is what I feel and what I say. And then when the person is having this rigid boundary, they don't go, they don't want to go beyond what they are thinking, what they have made a wall uh, around themselves, then the relationship becomes you know, we are I unstable, I would rather say. So it's always important that when we can have a semi-permeable membrane, when we talk about the semi-permeable membrane, that means I am ready to give something and even I am ready to accept something. That is very, 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 very important. When we talk about non-existence, that means I don't have any boundary. I can go beyond anything. I can talk anything with anyone. I can share anything with anyone. I don't have, I don't create that particular circle of my boundaries that yes, it will be me, it will be my family, it will be, no, nothing. So in my time is your time and you, whatever you want, whatever you, whenever you want me to be there, I am ready, I am readily available. So when the person is always, when the person is very insecure of losing people, then they have this no boundary thing. No, okay, I can be a pleasing person. I, I, I want to please everyone. I want to make everyone happy so that nobody feels sad because of me. If you feel sad because of me, that means I, be, I will feel bad. But then at the end, I am ending up being sad. Then it's okay. Doormat concept. Doormat concept, definitely. So you can come. I am ready. You can use me and you can go. 
right? And the lastly is when we talk about a healthy boundary. Yes, I am maintaining my own boundary. I am respecting my own time. I am respecting myself. At the same time, I am respecting you. I am comfortable with whatever you say. Maybe I am not ready. I am. I don't agree with your viewpoint. But then I am not going to go against that. I will respect your viewpoint. At the same time, I am going to communicate very clearly what is why, what is my viewpoint, and what I want. My needs and my wants need to be communicated very clearly, whether in any kind of relationship when we are talking about, right? So these things need to be taken care of when we talk about the boundaries. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yes, sir. Go back today uh, between you and I mean others. Be able to respect the others for who they are and do not um, attempt to change or fix them. Exactly. We are all counselors. No, no, we are all counselors. We have to help them to change if possible. Uh, if we show the way, but whether they change or not is their choice. Exactly. But, but being a counselor, being a psychologist, we are in a position to, I'm not using the word fix. Then we show the way. Then we create a framework for them to change. If they but change, then, sir, so, they, they may not change. They, they, they change. I accept. Go ahead. But rather than changing, what we can say is like we can remold. Already, the person is molded in some way. The counselor' job is to remold and rechisel the person's personality that or the thoughts and beliefs. Oh, sweetie, that is remold. We will only show the way, broad exactly. framework, how to change. But exactly. remolding, rechiseling means you know, taking a hammer and hitting. Chiseling means that. No, no, the thoughts means when I'm talking about the rechiseling of thoughts, that mm -hmm. means when I am helping you, because as a counselor, I will not say that do this, do that, do this. I will ask you, I will ask your suggestions and we will work together what is comfortable for you and what is not comfortable for you. Correct. Okay. And out of that comfortable zone, what is your choice to accept and to work on? And you start working on. And accordingly, when their thoughts are going to get modified, we are not going to modify it because it's you. You have, you know what to do. You, every person has a solution to a problem, right? Maybe there are certain person, maybe they are not able to see the solution they have. So our job is to enlighten them to know that, yes, you already have a solution. Don't use so the enlighten. No, sweetie, no enlighten. We will well, say, we'll show the way. We that is the reason, framework. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Means again, we are we are in a high position. Exactly. No, no, not high. We are not in a high position. No, I'm enlightened. Worry, Buddha, Achha, is en would... Buddha is enlightened. Sorry, sir. So then I would really uh, rephrase my word. Really, actually, we can yes, we can, we can just guide them. So that's that. What I think is like we cannot go uh, after them. We cannot go in front of them. We can just go with them. That is very very important. So. Lastly, is we are just going to play a one quiz, which is a myth and fact. You will just simply say whether you think that this is a statement is a myth or this is a fact, and then we are going to end our session today. Okay. So, setting boundaries make an individual mean. Do you think this is a true or this is a myth or fact? Uh, no, ma'am. No? Yeah? No. 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 Exactly no. 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 This is a myth. Great. Setting boundaries will eliminate people one love. The no. person no. I love will no. get go away. No. No. no, it can happen. It can happen. It but can we should happen. be prepared for it. Yes, we should be prepared for it. And if the person go, that means the person has not accepted the way I am or maybe the way I think. That is, and the person is not respecting the boundary. Yes, it may happen. It may happen. Haru, you are correct. But we are meant to set boundaries. It is better to set boundaries. You, you should respect your space also, and you should respect the space of the other person also. When the person, but when the person needs help, then you can come forward to help and uh, embrace them lovingly, and give them all sort of help they want. But setting boundaries is very mandatory. Very mandatory. Yes, very very but, important. But uh, sweetie, this is really a tricky question. You use the word real romantic love. <laughs> and real romantic love. Real romantic love. When you say real romantic love, no boundaries. Real romantic, I don't know how much it is applicable in the real life, actually. Ah, yeah, correct. Okay, so romantic love means no boundaries. What do you say? It, That's it... where you need to draw a lot of boundaries. If it has to yeah. long, last long. <laughs> real... Long lasting, forever happy means you have to have certain boundaries. 
Exactly. Real romantic love needs no boundaries. No spelling should be K N O W. <laughs> ஒரு <laughs> selfish or uncaring because i don't do things your way i care about me too because i am also very very important in life mm. so yeah. lo- thank you so much for the lovely interaction i really love the session i hope i have not made you bo- feel bored about the session no no sweetie you have done a great job may i Only say something here is- sweetie yes I- ma'am i want you to uh, lastly you i want to record guest art prayer wait for not now which <laughs> prayer guest art guest art pray- prayer is there Okay. If I meet you on the way, if you okay, we can get down. If you don't meet, also okay. Later, I, I don't remember the whole thing. Later, we read. We start the prayer. You can okay. go and do that. But a beautiful session, sweetie. Very nice, Thank very you, interactive, sir. and you are full of spirit and joy. Thank and you, you know, sir. made us we, you energize us also. thank you so much sir thank you thank you such a for a such a positive feedback. You know, it really helps me to work on myself and. it really motivates me as well how do you say something yeah i wanted to say it's not just caring about me um i, I would like to add that i would li- i will be caring about our relationship together as well mm-hmm. hence exactly. the boundaries are important exactly yes definitely to grow together boundaries are very very important yeah yeah exactly. thank, thank you, you so much priti thank you very much and thanks everyone for the inputs and you know it's really nice and interactive thanks sunanda for bringing your great good friend thank you sir yeah thank you we are happy regularly you participate thank you thank you everyone thank you thank you so much thank yeah you have any doubt or uh, you can uh, give past your comments to sweety ma'am i just want to say thank you many folks for conducting this session because this was which i needed to uh, mold in myself i was very extrovert type of person and i used to never set boundaries with anyone i used to mingle with others easily and i used to face problems and uh, like i never thought that my perception is different others perception can also be different i thought everyone is like me only so matlab ki now i think i was very much childish even in my dental college i faced problem because of the same reason so uh, thank you for this session so first change i would like to make in myself thank you thank you so yes. much ma'am i'm really happy that if it can help in every way and yes, even ma'am. if it can help in teaching our children also and our students also yeah thank you jyoti uh, muttu sir uh, it was a wonderful session uh, like we are able to correlate uh, like you know the way you the so much of interactions uh, quiz and uh, uh, the myths and facts of discussion uh, we are able to uh, introspect and uh, know, uh, like you know, compare ourselves side by side and uh, it's a wonderful session uh, thank uh, you so much sir. just thank listening you. just attending to the session itself is making a tremendous impact thank so you. thank you so much, much sir thank Lively you really and uh, wonderful thank you thank you yeah. so, thank you sir other participants try prabhu sunanda what of thanks yes sir you can I, go I, ahead I already have assigned somebody no no you can uh, go ahead it, sir. please you are quite, quite young i am 77 years sunanda knows and i think maybe you are 25 or 30 or whatever it is <laughs> but you are it un, i mean endless boundless energy and the spirit with which you talk and the interaction you have made with others and you know you have made connection with everyone everyone participated actually i i thought i may not be able to make it but sunanda said try because i came running back at 6:30 to join your session and highly thankful to you on behalf of all the participants and of the deccan positive of course i, I would add well over and all those things that sunanda will add but wonderful session sweetie we hope again you will take some more session course definitely so sir have no boundaries for your energy <laughs> never <laughs> never i would be very happy if i can do something for my profession because 
uh, my profession the psychology has given me a lot in my life and yeah. whatever i am today i am completely opposite till i was in class 12 after i came into graduation and i was introduced to the subject it was very new i never heard the uh, uh, subject psychology and really my personality is completely molded in a different way so i really want to give back something to my profession that is my aim in my life actually good all the best to you sweetie thank you ma'am yeah. thank you so much thank you yeah. god thank you so much pleasure to attend in the like to come that session yeah. thank you friends thank you. next Bye. session i mean i don't know what's the subject but i will be in we will we'll be in thank you thank you and then i arrange next time yeah sure sir thank you thank you thank you thank you bye 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 thank you for extending